Well, here we have a testing rain bench. This is actually one that we modified, we used at a Lake Homing Cabin show in Schaumburg. But uh, you can see, as you can see, this one's full. This is just a gauge that we cut out. And uh, kind of did this to test to see how strong the plywood was. We made the rain bench to its full height and, and a little bit beyond. So this rain bench is actually holding about 96 gallons of uh, water. And it is full. I will show you. See if we can see in there. I'll, I'll turn the water on. But uh, see the water in there? Yeah. Oh, see? There we go. It is full. And it is solid. This is your only half inch plywood. But if you're going to build a taller one like this, I would say it would be a good idea to use 5 8 5 8 inch plywood works. Our instructions um, are fairly clear as far as how to modify these slightly different dimensions of cutting to account for the, the thickness, the wall thickness of the 5 8 versus the half inch. But anyway, as you can see with half inch right here, it's, it's holding just fine. Uh, overflow is just trickling out right there, so that's generally what it would look like if you did not put a tube off of that overflow and it's raining and the water's rain is filling up uh, from the bottom. Right now we just got this teed off, the shut off there and the shut off here. Normally the one side would go down underground to a one inch irrigation line to wherever the uh, downspout is and to a diverter. Uh, but this one, like I said, it's just a test bench for the full height, full extent. Just wanted to make sure that the plywood was going to hold. We painted this dark brown. This is exterior grade plywood. Marine grade plywood is a great one because it's moisture resistant. Uh, still overflowing. Wow. The surface tension is a pretty amazing thing. All right. So. This is what it looks like inside a rain bench. And then I pulled the corners out to the edges and I made sure that, that the bottom edges also um, were fo fully extended. So, so there's no folding and anything. And even though, you know, obviously I didn't pull on it as it was filling. Um, I also made this one so that there's a cutout in the side so you can see the water level. I don't know how good an idea this is in, in actual, <laughs> in, in practice because, well, sunlight's going to get in there and there's probably going to be algae growth in there. You might want to, if you do this, uh, just have something just pop that cover back on. And this is basically, I just took, and I took the instructions in a do-it-yourself rain bench kit made the cap and the base exactly the same as what they uh, say. There's two by twos on the inside that these are screwed to. So it's a good idea to uh, yeah to add a few more. Oh look at this. Jeez I didn't even realize this is this is tremendous. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we we obviously in making these taller yeah we added another screw. One, two, three screws in each of the sides going into the uh, two by two in the corner I would even say go four but uh, as you can see here I've only done two <laughs> one two and even though it is only two it's holding but uh, not tremendously well so um, it's a good test uh, it's a nice thing that this is a test one and then also, be a better idea to space these evenly. There's uh, quite a bit of a gap between this one and this one. But there again, if you did four evenly spaced, you're good. But hey, this, that's that's what we want to do here, testing them out. We want to see the worst case scenario, what uh, somebody might do if they don't follow the instructions. <laughs> that appears to be me in this case. So 
and follow my instructions. Anyway, thanks Loon Watch for this great mug and uh, and thanks for watching my video. Enjoy your uh, your rain bench and, and happy spring. Either way, otherwise, okay, bye.